What's happening guys? My name is Jamie, this is the Norwich Reptile Shed. It's cold in here, I'm still brumating all the snakes, but we're gonna start building some new vivariums. So in this video series, I'm going to be building another one of my six foot stacks. Um, for those who don't know what the, those are, um, check out my other videos. I've done a few videos on how I built them, a time lapse, um, waterproofing. It's the Taiwanese Beauty Snake Enclosure and it's the my Northern Pine Enclosure. So I've got two more of them to build. I'm going to be doing another two after that. Um, but this time we are concentrating on just two. For those who don't know, they look like this when they're done. So they're a nice, really nice size compared to a, I mean, here are the five, these are five foot long, um, 18 inches high, or maybe not 18 inches high. Either way, the smaller ones, uh, and these are six foot long, two and a half foot deep and three foot tall. Uh, I've got all the wood cut. That's all ready to go. Uh, I've moved, with the help of my friends, I've moved these vivariums from this back corner over to here uh, for good reason. So, although this looks quite small, once these are built, this is one big unit. So all that plywood there, up all the way across there is one giant unit. Um, and then I put this piece in the middle so that that's not two vivariums stacked on top of each other. That is one whole thing. Um, so, uh, yeah, so once this is built, I can slide the new six foots into that space and they can go in there while the, because these are smaller, these come out less from the wall. Should be a bit easier to work around. I've got another foot either way. I can kind of slide them about. And then when it comes to actually replacing the last two vivariums with the two that are going to be in this hole, they can just come out. The two new ones can slide in and it's done. That'll be a good day. I really look forward to that day. But until then, I've got to build the Viv number three and four from the six foot stacks. So let's get cracking with the plimp. Cool, so that is the plimp made and stained. As you can see, it's all a bit of smoke and mirrors on the plimp. Um, this timber is like construction timber, four by two, ain't going anywhere. Um, so it's, I'm using it to support, as you can see down there, I'm using it to support the weight of the vivarium so the plywood isn't just sitting flat on the floor. Um, so that's what that's for, but it doesn't really need treating in the reptile room. So obviously I've, this is the second coat of stain um, to keep with the aesthetics because everything in here is two coats of dark oak stain. Um, so that's for that at the front there. And then I've done the bottom and just the joints um, just to protect the wood against moisture when I inevitably spill a water bowl. Uh, as I'm getting chased out of a vivarium by a false water cobra. So um, 
yeah, that's uh, that's kind of just what I've done there. So just a little bit of protection on the front. I'm not worried about the back. I'm not worried about the bottom, and I'm not worried about the top. So yeah, once that's dry, we can lay that on the floor, um, and then we can start clearing that away, but piecing together all that plywood there to make two lovely vivariums. Okay, midway break. Uh, I've been trying to work out how to do this on my own. <laughs> um, so uh, you'll see from the video that it very much relied on propping things up. Um, but there we go, there's the, uh, got the two sides in. Uh, got the first back in. So um, the way I've designed this is different to a normal vivarium in that uh, obviously it's one whole piece but the, the back supports the base so there's the base um, and inside oh, it's gonna be hard because of the lights but inside are two beams so there's a beam there's a beam plinth and that um, and then the base, which is why I can then fill the next section up with soil and all loads of stuff. Um, and I can actually, I've, I've laid in there, it can support my weight. Um, but yeah, so here we are. So next up will be getting this middle, middle one in, middle floor, getting the beams on. So let's crack on.
Ta-da! There we go. There is another, they look pretty cool, don't they? Another set of six foots. Get them out of the way. They look cool, innit? When it? When we've got, when we've got just a wall of these looking like that. So next up will be removing these and getting them in there. But first of all, uh, we've got to uh, get these ready for some snakes. I don't think I've told you yet, but up here is going to be my um, albino black rat snake. She's the biggest snake that hasn't had the upgrade yet. So she's going in this one. Uh, she's down there brumating, so can't see her, but she'll be going in that one. I'm thinking like a Texas barn kind of vibe. Um, obviously, I go with the, the, the more natural looking rock stuff for, for all of these, the Northern Pine and all of them things. But I'm thinking maybe uh, maybe a barn style thing. Um, because they, they are commonly found on farmland. Um, so, yeah, maybe. Maybe. I have to think about it. But I'm quite confident I'm going to do that. And then down here is going to be my female false water cobra. And the plan is... When the next two are here, is the male force water cobra has this bottom piece here, and I'm going to make them interlink. So uh, that'd be quite cool. And then on the next one up here is going to be my uh, the smallest snake in this stack, which will be the um, northern pine snake that I've got the the the, the daughter of Mr. Pine over there. So uh, yeah. I hope you enjoyed watching this one. So um, this will um, next in the next video we're going to be uh, varnishing it, uh, doing the ceiling, all the stuff that I've already covered. But I'm going to try and be do it a little bit more in depth. Um, so we're going to do the varnishing, the ceiling, um, and then we can start looking at putting lighting in there. And then once we've got all that ready, we can start filling it full of specific stuff for the for the snakes that are going in it. So yeah. That'll be that one. Um, thanks for checking in on this one, guys. Please, if you haven't already, like, subscribe, Facebook, TikTok, get some stickers. Come on, uh, if you go on my Instagram account, I've got some stickers, I've got some bits like that. So, uh, yeah, get involved. It'd be awesome to see you on there. And I'll catch you in part two.